absolutely loving how quiet the roads are and how quiet the skies are and I really am so happy with it that it almost brings me to tears and worry um, thinking about how it's going to go back to what it, what what it will go to what it will turn turn to so I wonder if I can just put out a prayer for everybody to pray for others to just be very mindful with their actions that they're going to take when the lockdown is lifted and to not slip into ways of greed and lust and power and to really hold on to what learnings we've had in this precious time to slow down and breathe in and to not forget that we can do so much internally and really now is the time that it's happening we're looking inside, we're seeking help and advice, we're wanting to heal, we're wanting to heal ourselves more than ever before. People are seeking help and guidance, people are doing yoga, people are sharing. Um, it's been growing and growing and, you know, it's not just a coincidence or a trend. Um, it's because we're here to heal ourselves to heal the earth as much as we possibly can for the bigger purpose of great spirit. It's huge. What we have in our hands right now, the power we have collectively in our hands right now to heal and to transcend, it's going to be so worth it. us to wake up. She's asking us to take off our shoes. She's unconditional love. She's joy. She's our living muse. United we stand when we realize we're not separate from the land. I will open my eyes and sing nature's song. She's inviting us to breathe in, to sail a timeless tide, and take it back to the beginning, but this time with a conscious mind. United we stand when we realize we're not separate from the land. I will open my eyes and I will sing nature's song. One by one, everyone comes to remember we are healing the world. One heart at a time. 